For the next five minutes, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Coconut Grove. My name is David Siddons. I'm president of the David Siddons Group, and I run one of the highest ranking real estate teams in the country, according to the Wall Street Journal. And I'm also a real estate economist and analyst, and I've been writing reports and selling real estate for 15 years. And I live in Coconut Grove. So this is everything you need to know about Coconut Grove. Quite simply put, it is considered probably one of the most organic, natural neighborhoods in the whole of Miami. It's divided into three sections. The North Grove, which is closest to Brickell, the middle part of the Grove, which is around where all the restaurants and shops are, and behind it, which is where all the townhouses are, and the South Grove, which is where you'll find some of the most expensive real estate in Coconut Grove, by virtue of the fact that that's where some of the gated communities are, which are on the water, as well as location to the best private schools. Why has everyone been moving into Coconut Grove? Coconut Grove is home to Ransom and Carrollton, the ranked number one and number three best private schools in the country. So very, very popular and economically has done extremely well. But there is good and bad to Coconut Grove. The good, it's a fantastic place to live. So what do you do in Coconut Grove? Well, there is an array of incredible restaurants. Uh, restaurants like Bellini, which is in the Mr. C Hotel, which gives you superb views over the water. The Bayshore Club, a restaurant located right on the bay, right around where the marina is, which again, beautiful views, looking out at the boats in the evening. There is a building called Amal, which is a superb restaurant, right in the heart of the Grove, with a superb rooftop terrace called Level 6, which is definitely worth a visit. And of course, there is some standard and some old classics and favorites in the Grove. Sapporo de Mari, which is a cute little Italian restaurant. Uh, again, this is one of a thousand reasons why people love living in the Grove and why you need an expert to explain to you why the Grove might be a better fit for you than, say, Coral Gables or Pinecrest. The bad, there are no sidewalks. It can be a little bit scratchy in certain areas where there's some older homes that really should be torn down. And the peacocks, which are super annoying. But outside of that, it's a great place to live. Obviously, walkability, and I keep coming back to that because that's what draws people in. And over the last couple of years, it meant that the prices in Coconut Grove just skyrocketed because there's nowhere like it. It sits on the water, and around 90% of the product in the Grove is single-family homes. A mere 10% of it is condos. Condos such as Park Grove, Grove at Grand Bay, Mr. C, Grosvenor House, and the new Vita, which is a fantastic new project in Grove Isle. Again, these are the luxury buildings. Park Grove is probably the best. 90%, the rest of it, is single-family homes. Now, the single-family market if you look at the gated communities, which are Camp Biscayne, the Moorings, and New Little Woods. And there's a few others as well, but those are the main ones. And again, as you're looking at real estate, you can see them through the website and you can look at the gated community homes. Those ones, that's where you'll find the most expensive real estate because it's very, very close to the center. It's close to the schools and close to restaurants as well. Outside of that, then you go into the rest of Coconut Grove. Most of the lots are around eight to 10,000 square feet lots. Uh, the rest of them, you know, maybe there's a few that might be 20,000 square feet, but most of them are eight to 10. There's a few six to eights. The newer homes, short supply. The months of inventory still very low. Again, I implore you to read my reports and look at the numbers and see how that's going. But fundamentally, new homes are gonna run you around 12 to $1,300 a square foot. Other homes anywhere between 800 to, let's say, 1,000 a square foot. I will tell you, you won't really find anything under a million and a half, and it's very hard to find anything under two. These are our statistics according to our 2023 market figures and numbers. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know about Coconut Grove in five minutes. Do watch now our listings, our details, and our off-markets. If you are searching, understand that as an expert, there's a lot of off-market product, and that's what we do. We find off-market product, we analyze, we write reports, and we create videos like this to give you the narrative. We have thousands of them. So, hope you enjoy the video, and with questions, give me a call, shoot me an email. Thank you.